What made you decide to write a book on wicked problems? Uh, wicked problems, uh, the book is a call to action for practicing designers. Um, I would like to see all designers start to question uh, not just the quality of the work they're doing, but what problems they're actually working on. Uh, and so uh, so the initial thought was, what kind of project can we do at, at Austin Center for Design to get the word out about the curriculum we're teaching, the types of projects we're launching and companies we're, we're starting? Um, and so, so it was like, all right, we'll do a book, maybe some videos. And then the thought was like, why not just give it away for free? Uh, and so the whole project's available at um, wickedproblems.com. And, and my hope is that there's a couple different tiers of designers, like sort of uh, segments of designers that will find it interesting. Um, the most immediate is uh, design educators. Uh, there's, a, there's a tiny, tiny number of design educators in the world. Uh, and so uh, if, you know, if five of them change their curriculum, suddenly we've affected a lot of, of practicing designers to be in 10 years. Uh, and so, like, here's a curriculum for you. It's, it's cut and dry. It's already done. Um, now you just have the, the easy task of pushing it through curriculum council, which, you know, is another 10 years for, at some places. But, um, but it's to set a precedent for them. Another audience is for practicing designers. Uh, and for practicing designers that are, you know, five and six years out, uh, they really start to hit a wall with a huge degree of regularity. Uh, and they're looking for both... Um, examples of what other things they could be doing and also permission to do it. Uh, and I found um, it really effective to just say to, to younger junior designers, like, it's okay to exit the corporate consultancy game. It's okay. There are other things you can do. You can take design and take it to policy. You can take it to finance. You can take it to film. You can take it to art. You can take it to wicked problems. You can, you can do a lot of things with design. It doesn't have to be, to be jammed into business. Um, and, and that's really, really um, refreshing, I think, for them to hear, or so it has been in my experience. Um, the last audience is for designers who are, who are right now like seniors in college um, who are about to graduate, and they're scratching their head going like, you know what, I don't want to work at, uh, you know, name your Fortune 20 company, and the, these flashy consultancies, I don't want to work there either. Uh, those used to be the rogue designers in design programs. They're the norm now, um, and, and they have... Uh, you know, they've, they've grown up with a set of ideals that it's just like, it's part of them to work on things that matter. Uh, well, like, okay, cool. Here's your handbook. Go work on things that matter uh, and, and make the world a better place.